Well, they've got a bit of time in hand here, but today... Okay, for this video, I'll refer to football as soccer, okay? Okay. Hi, I'm Tom, and this, this is FIFA 18. My first ever soccer game. Story time. I despise soccer. Never liked it as a kid, never liked it as an adult. I thought pretty much anyone who did like it was either some form of hooligan or had some form of anger management issues that they wanted to get rid of by yelling at their respective players. But if that's the case, then I am now filled with anger management issues because for reasons I cannot fathom, I liked FIFA. Fuck. I found myself yelling at the screen more often than I'd like to admit, and now I can't stop rooting, I can't stop rooting for Renegade FC. Let's take a look at my newly found soccer club, and let's dive in. What FIFA lacks in great riots and hooligans in the streets, it makes up for by playing very well as a soccer game. Although I need to mention this a little bit further, I am by no means a soccer expert. Hell, I am probably extremely unqualified to make any objective arguments when it comes to soccer. However, I am extremely qualified to tell you that if you've never played a soccer game before, this does make you like it in a way that I've never seen before. Let's take an example here. My team was facing off a tough opponent who did not give in. Halftime was just over and the score was still nil-nil. Right in the beginning of the second half, they score. Your morale's broken, but you know you have to get this win or it's all over. Then, the 73rd minute begins. Your opponent has the ball. He takes it in. You tackle him, but he sees it coming. They pull off a second score, but the kicker, he was offside. God has given you a second chance and you, you need to take it. They're only five minutes later. It happens, you get a corner. You call a second man, you move him in, you aim, you place that ball as hard and precise as you can. It all goes in slow motion, but he scores and the crowd goes wild. 1-1, one, one. you need to bring this home, but there is little time. The 86th minute begins, time is of the essence. You get another corner, you decide to use the, same, the exact same tactics as last time, seeing that it worked. The second man shoots the ball as hard as he can, but it bounces off the keeper, yes. back into another one of your men, yes. and he scores! You're back into the lead, and you bring home the victory! Fuck yes! Whoa! <laughs> it is hard to beat that feeling though, but I have to mention, while you're playing the matches, with the announcers going over your game as you are playing it, with the crowd shouting and screaming, it does immerse you. And before I knew it, I was screaming at my monitor towards my players that they did not go fast enough. In other words, that I will not repeat at this time. Aside from all that goodness, there's also a story mode in which you follow Alex Hunter, a new up-and-coming soccer star, which to be honest, is generic as all hell. However, it is done well enough that you don't get annoyed by it. Okay, okay, they do make pretty good jokes at times. Like, when you destroy a team completely, the game will advise you to ramp up the difficulty. And when you say no, they throw shade in your direction. Alex, a truly exceptional performance from you today. I think I lost count just how many times you scored. Almost seemed too easy for you out there, like watching someone play a video game on a skill level well below their... <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> Motherfuckers! You will enjoy playing it, but I don't see I don't see you ever coming back for seconds. The real thing though where you will be staying for is the ultimate team mode. It's the mode where you build your own dream team with any player from any club. This is the team you will be using to run up against other players and AI when you're not playing the story. You can still use pre-made real teams as well, but I find it way more fun when it's your own team that's doing all the ass kicking. With all the positives said and done, FIFA 18 is far from being a 100% recommendation. And let's get some small things out of the way first. The game crashes my entire computer when I try to launch it in any mode that's not windowed mode. The cutscenes can look dreadful a lot of the times, even though this should be the time when the game is best looking. The main menu, UI, can make you deaf if you're not paying attention.
The controls you use in single player are completely different in multiplayer and for some reason it stopped me from using my mouse completely which completely screwed me over. And let's not forget last but not least, microtransactions. Hey, we went full circle again and still annoys me, it really does. However, most of these things can be fixed with bug fixes. There's one problem though that needs to be addressed but I can't address it. Much like modern FPS games, FIFA 18 looks a lot like its predecessors. So much in fact that you probably didn't even notice that you've been watching FIFA 17 gameplay for the last minute. Yeah, I know. However, I haven't played FIFA 17 or 16 or any other soccer game for that matter. So if you're wondering if anything has changed since last year's edition, I can't answer that because I don't know. But when I look at the FIFA 17 gameplay and compare to the FIFA 18 gameplay, I'd say that the graphics are a little better and that the story is a follow up to last year's, but that's pretty much it. If I had to make an educated guess, I'd say that there's not much difference between them and that FIFA 18 probably does not warrant the purchase. Unless you need to know the ending to the incredibly mediocre soccer story, because in the end, you're still playing soccer with most of the same characters. Okay, I know we just hit a bit of a low point with the revelation that FIFA 18 is the 25th game in the series and that it isn't very original per se. But on the other hand, if you are like me and you have no interest in soccer, never cared about it and never played a FIFA game, I actually don't think it's all that bad of a purchase, even when you take in consideration all the other issues. When the matches are close and the teams are worthy foes, FIFA does really shine. You will scream at your monitor when you put out that last goal just in the nick of time to pull off that close win. The feeling is amazing and I did not expect that going in. So now I have a difficult decision to make and I have decided to split my decision into two. If you have played previous FIFA games and most of all FIFA 17, I will advise you not to buy it. From what I've seen, FIFA 18 is not that different from previous FIFA games and does not warrant another 60 bucks. But if you are new and you want to experience the glorious soccer firsthand, then I'll tell you that FIFA 18 is worth the money.